Right now, let's uh, get a bit more on the uh, Libyan uh, conflict from independent journalist James Corbett. He's been uh, closely following uh, these developments. Mr. Corbett, the, the war crimes court is ready to uh, issue arrest warrants against the Gaddafi regime on charges of crimes against their own people. How, how likely is it that a Gaddafi and his right-hand men will, will ever see the inside of The Hague? Well, that's a very good question and one that we'll have to, to see as it plays out. But I think it would be easy to dismiss the International Criminal Court's uh, appeal for a, an arrest warrant uh, for his crimes against humanity. As, as It would be easy to dismiss that as something of a farce, especially Morning. considering that the uh, International Criminal uh, Court's uh, prosecutor's office now admits that not a single member of that office actually bothered to step foot in Libya to investigate the crimes against humanity with which he's charged. Uh, all of these are coming indirectly from... Uh, uh, NGO groups that are on the record admittedly being funded by such organizations as the International Republican Institute, the National Democratic Institute and Freedom House and other groups that boast board members like James Wolfson and Madeleine Albright and John McCain and other members of the American political aristocracy as it were. So uh, it on its face is something of a, of a farce I think but uh, it, it would be easy to dismiss it in that way but I think this is, actually sets a very troubling precedent in the realm of international jurisprudence where we see the idea that, uh, that, for all intents and purposes, NATO geopolitical foreign policy can now be uh, justified through juridical action in this international criminal court uh, simply by fiat decree, it seems. And, uh, and that, that, I think, sets a very new and troubling precedent in international uh, jurisprudence. Now, when you talk about the geopolitical agenda here, uh, let, let's talk about Gaddafi saying that he uh, says he will, ne he will never go quietly. He's been taunting uh, the uh, Allied uh, intervention uh, military saying I'm in a place where you can't reach me uh, but do you think um, do you think with, with these now charges of crimes against their own people does this mean that uh, this will be the opening stages to an ine inevitable ground operation uh, getting soldiers on, on the ground there do you think well, I think that's exactly the point of this uh, latest maneuver, and uh, and that w was demonstrated amply enough within hours of this uh, this uh, arrest warrant uh, being asked for by the uh, prosecutor. We have the head of the British Armed Forces, General Sir David Richards, coming out and uh, and saying that now suddenly he the NATO forces are justified in in killing Gaddafi if if they can, and in even bombing the infrastructure of Libya, and and so the 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 ludicrous nature of the entire operation is exposed and unmasked for all to see in that here is a humanitarian intervention that is now literally going to be bombing in infrastructure for the Libyan people and setting the country back uh, 10 years, as, as one of your earlier reports today said, uh, on the basis of a humanitarian intervention that's supposed to help the populace. Uh, again, it makes no sense on its face unless it's understood that this is simply an attempt at regime change and it is now being supposedly justified through this uh, very troubling precedent of an international criminal court being able to dictate what happens within the boundaries of a sovereign country. And that's not to say that I'm on the side of the Gaddafi regime by any means, but I think the uh, the precedent that's being set here is of much wider scope than what we see playing out in Libya specifically. There are, there are, there are many parties that are saying that the uh, Allied intervention is going far beyond the parameters of the, the original UN Resolution 1973. Now, if, uh, if the international courts uh, determine to prosecute Gaddafi, what about uh, probing NATO's airstrikes and the likelihood of many civilian casualties? I mean, surely NATO's got a case to answer to? Uh, I, surely they do, and uh, I, I would be very surprised to see that. I think that's exactly the point of the International Criminal Court, is not to go after uh, NATO or, or other uh, interests. In fact, we see today uh, fresh reports of Gaza-bound aid, aid ships from Malaysia now being uh, fired on by the Israeli military, but we're unlikely to see Benjamin Netanyahu being called uh, for, to the International Criminal Court to answer for war crimes. And we have prima facie evidence of, of George Bush and, and Tony Blair collaborating to, to bring about the, the Iraq war is a war of aggression, the, the, the supreme war crime. But uh, we have that in the Downing Street memo and other documents that prove that beyond a shadow of a doubt. And yet uh, we, we see absolutely no call for, for them to come before the International Criminal Court. So, so again, I think we'll see this, uh, the, this precedent used as a, as a way of basically allowing NATO countries and, and the, the NATO hegemonic interests to, to dictate their foreign policy through this court. All right. Independent journalist James Corbett. Thank you.